my name is Susie B. Welcome to my vlog. On this channel, I keep track of all of my mishaps and adventures in the life over the age of 60. At this age, it seems like there's always something going on or something going wrong. Today, we're getting ready here in Baton Rouge for Hurricane Ida. Here are some tips that you can keep track of to help you during the hurricane. Start with an emergency plan. Make a list of all the things that you need to acquire and do around your home and share that list with your family and friends. Make sure that the lines of communication are open between you and your family so that you can keep track of each other during the storm. Oftentimes this could be as simple as opening a WhatsApp or a Zella walkie talkie, which aren't dependent on Wi-Fi or internet to communicate. Stay educated. Know what's happening in your local news. Be aware of shelters, where to get sandbags, and what your local government leaders are saying. Next, assess your situation. If you need to evacuate in your area, then do so. Be safe. You can replace objects, but we can't replace lives. Second, put together a Ziploc bag of all emergency paperwork passports, ID, contact numbers, important papers such as your will, insurance, insurance policies. Make sure that you have those waterproofed and accessible in case you need to evacuate or in case they're needed. Also include pictures of your home so that you have proof to insurance companies of what shape your home was in before the hurricane hit. Get stocked up on water, electrolyte drinks, and easy to fix food items. Refill prescriptions and medicines that you take regularly. You never know how long a hurricane will last or how long you'll be without power. So keep your medicines stocked and full. Keep some cash on hand. Not all places will be able to take credit cards during or after a storm. Be sure to have batteries and flashlights ready. They could be a Fill up your car with gas so you have plenty. And board up or tape windows in case they should break. Bring all your pets inside for safekeeping. Make sure you have extra pet food and kitty litter if need be. Animals won't be able to go outside necessarily during a storm. Next, be sure to plug in and charge all your mobile devices so that you have a full battery. Store extra water in your bathtub. You'll need this to flush the toilet should your water go out. Here's a recap of the tips I've given you today. Take a screenshot of it for your notes. Finally, here's a number for your notes on where to call for crisis cleanup. Okay, be safe, Baton Rouge. I'll keep you posted on how we do throughout the hurricane. Bye.